the, really, the idea is, is to, you're trying to put yourself in the horse's situation, to put yourself in his body, in his mind. And you're trying to figure out how he thinks and how he perceives you and what it might take to get him to maybe have the same idea as you. All you're trying to do is to eventually have your idea become his. So if you understand how a horse thinks, you understand how he perceives things, you'll figure out how to fit a horse. You're trying to find a way to meet a horse at a place to where he can understand. And to me, it's not to train a horse. It's to try to get the horse with you to where you think of it as one mind and one body. You may spend your whole life chasing that, but it's a good thing to chase. I'm just trying to see how much I can get a horse to do without being troubled. Now sometimes they'll do things more or less physically correct, but a little concerned. But that's not my end game. That might be somewhere in the middle or somewhere in the beginning. But the end game is to see what he can get done without any trouble or as little as possible. It's the process of him learning and me learning at the same time but him learning what I'd like him to do without being upset as the end game. That's really the goal. So you have to meet the horse on his terms. You're not just asking the horse to comply with you. You have to be able to adjust to fit the situation. What fits one horse, you might have to adjust it to fit another. So the human doesn't really want to adjust to these things either. They have one way of doing it and they think all the horses should adjust to them. Good luck with that. That won't work. Yeah, I want the horse sometimes to adjust what he's doing, because what he's doing might get me in trouble. But we both have to find a way to meet each other somewhere in the middle. It doesn't make me any better than the horse. But it doesn't make me any less either. I have every right to be here, no different than the horse. But he has his rights too, and I have to respect them.